December 25th, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to you. How are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? What are you experiencing? I wonder all of those things for you. I truly do. And if you notice the uh, title of today's talk, it's Redeeming Time. I know that when holidays come, special events come like New Year's and Christmas and birthdays, we notice how quickly the time is gone and how this is yet another event, another experience of life and time is flying. So I wanted to talk about redeeming time today on Christmas day for a few reasons, because I know that many of you have seen so much time, energy, and resources evaporate because of going through the trauma of divorce. Many of you are wasting time now because you're hurting so badly and you're not living life, you're not enjoying life. So I wanted to talk about today redeeming the time. Of course, we can't uh, reach back and change anything of the past, but we can redeem time by buying back our time. Stop wasting the time. Make up for lost time by working on our own healing. That's how we redeem the time. We say, I'm done. I'm done wasting the time and the energy and the resources on the past and what has happened. I have to redeem the time. I have to grab it back. And what better time, what better gift to give to yourself and to others when you intentionally begin to work on your own healing? Because the best thing that you can give to your children is being a healed mom or dad. I'll never forget a conference I was speaking at many years ago when a woman came up to me and she said, Kathy, I don't care about me. Just help me get my kids through this divorce. And my words to her are my words to you. The best thing that you can do for your children is be a healed mom or a healed dad if you're a guy listening today. That's what they need most of all. They need a mom and dad who is stable, who has their stuff together, who has a plan and a focus. That's what your children need. And that's what you need. That's also why the upcoming events that I have planned for you are vitally important. And that is being part of the group. First of all, the webinar and then the life coaching after divorce, those are two opportunities for you to be proactive, to march forward and say enough, enough of this wasted time, enough of this pain, enough of this chaos. I want a life. And that's the gift that you can begin to decide today to give yourself. So much time has been wasted. Let's stop it. Let's buy back the time. Let's work on our healing. I love these verses that talk about the scarcity of time and that be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Now, I've done some studying on this meaning of the days are evil. And I think what I gleaned out of it was that they give us the illusion that we have so much time, so much of our lifetime left, when we really don't know that we do. So it encourages us to live as wise people and not as unwise people. 
making the most of our time. And how do we do that? How do we start doing that on, on Christmas Day, 2022? How do we start living wise? Well, first of all, we decide we're going to work on our healing. That's number one for you right now. But there's also another number one. I can't make it a number two because it's too important. So I'm going to give you two number ones. The second one, no, the first first is believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Those are the words of Paul in the New Testament. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be amazed how your life turns around because once you get under the teaching of who Christ is, the Christ child that was born on this day or we celebrate on this day, once you get under his teachings and you begin to research and to study and to understand what he is saying, you have the answers to life. When you have the answers to life, you can become focused. You can become moving forward. You can let all the distractions go when you keep your eye and your ear on who Christ is. But first you have to accept and believe that he is. And I love the promise of you and your household. You have children in your household, many of you, who are under your influence. You want the best for them. There is nothing best better than the Lord Jesus Christ and him coming into your heart and the wisdom that he's going to give you to raise your children. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. And that's what we want as we go through all this chaos and turmoil and depression and sadness and feeling like we are powerless we want a new life. And that's what Christ tells us we will have through him. And all that guilt and all of the condemnation that you've been heaping upon yourself and all the shame and all the guilt, good news, good news of, Chris, of Christmas, good news of Christ. There is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. God no longer judges you. God no longer condemns you. He embraces you. And he said, you are free. You are free. There's no more condemnation on your head. So let go of all the guilt. Let go of all the shame. Let go of all the trauma, all the pain. Because he has taken it. He's taken it. That is God's gift to you. But you have to embrace it. So here we are, Christmas, Christmas 2022. The most important thing about it was that God is with us. He came down, he walked among us. He lived with us, he lived among us, he became us. So you can't say, oh, you don't understand God because he truly does. He understands the rejection he faced that throughout his life, throughout his ministry, certainly at his death. God gets it. He gets it all. So my Christmas wish for you is that you would redeem the time. That you would say, enough of this stuff. Let's get moving forward. Let's create that beautiful life that God wants for me after this divorce. After this chaos, after this pain, he has a plan and a hope. And our days are evil because Psalms tells us that our days vanish like smoke. And it also says days are like a shadow that passes away. They're moving quickly. We don't know how much time we have, but we have this time, this moment, this Christmas to begin looking forward, to begin redeeming the time and saying, I am moving forward. No more of this stuff in the past. I'm moving forward. I hope you'll join us on January 11th so that we can begin 
this actual movement forward. Merry Christmas, my friend. Look and note the true meaning of Christmas, the gift to you and the gift to yourself when you begin focusing on your healing. God bless you. God bless you today. No matter where you're at, if you're alone, if you're with a crowd or you just left being with a crowd, you're with your children or without your children, celebrate this day. It is a joyous day. Merry Christmas. God bless you. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous, walking with you every step of the way through the trauma of divorce and through this Christmas season.